Hi guys, I'm about to show you how I make this authentic bitter leaf soup, also known as Ofe Onugo. So if this looks like what you're interested in, keep watching. My name is Ehi and you're welcome to my kitchen. One of the most important ingredients in making authentic bitter leaf soup, aka Ofe Onugo, is this kokoyam. Now this is not the regular kokoyam, it is known as Ede and it is mostly used in preparing soups especially igbo soups i don't know if there's any other thing that you use this cocoa yam for but i hear that you cannot eat it like the regular cocoa yam with salt and oil because it would irritate your throat and cause it to itch so please if you've ever eaten this and it did not irritate your throat just let us know in the comments so that we're guided now the first thing i like to do when making ofe onugu is to cook this cocoa yam first because it takes a while to cook depending on the sizes it could take between 20 to 30 minutes to cook so you want to put this on fire before you get into the cooking process now once that is cooking i went ahead to pre-cook my proteins i'm using goat's meat and beef for this but you can use any protein of choice as always i season this lightly with some chopped onions ground pepper all ground spice and some beef seasoning now i wanted to keep this simple but if you are extra you can always you know add all of other spices and all of that but i really wanted to keep this simple then i like to cover this up and let it cook for about 10 minutes notice i didn't add water after that, I went ahead to blend my crayfish and yellow habanero pepper because we'll be needing this very shortly. Our meat has been cooking for 10 minutes and you can see how much juice it has produced even though I didn't add water in the beginning. If you want to know how to perfectly season your proteins and cook it to taste, please click the link up there. I have a video on that. Now after that, I like to go in with my stocked fish and I added some chopped shaki because I wanted to be extra, some boga fish and then I like to add extra water here just so that the stock fish can cook properly then i like to cover up and allow this cook on medium low heat for another five minutes So once the ede had cooked for about 25 minutes, I went ahead to check if it was properly cooked. Now you will know your ede is properly cooked when you pinch at it and the skin comes off easily. This thing was really hot guys. But yes, at this point I knew that my ede was cooked so I proceeded to pound this whilst it was hot. You can also blend this in your blender but I wanted to be all traditional and all local. That was why I went ahead to pound this. about five minutes this is what our pot looks like this is literally our soup base guys and can you see how full it is if you know me you already know that i like obstacles in my soup and i like to be extra so i went ahead to add some river fish please if you know the name of this fish like the actual name just leave it in the comments for me thank you and then i added extra water so that this can cook properly now whilst that is cooking, let me introduce you to our second important ingredient in making authentic bitter leaf soup and that is palm fruit extract. Now a lot of people use palm oil for their bitter leaf soup and that is not bad. But I find that when you use palm fruit extract, it just takes the dish to a whole new level. You can make your own palm fruit extract at home by fermenting some palm fruits and extracting the juice. But I like to get mine from the store most of the time because I just do not like stress all the time. Adding in the palm fruit extract, I like to go in immediately with the blended cocoa yam in bits and then cover up and just let it come to a boil until all the cocoa yam has fermented. And guys, <laughs> food is almost ready. Can you see how beautiful the soup is looking already? All you have to do at this point is just give it a very good stir. Then you want to add in the blended crayfish and habanero pepper. And then our third important ingredient in making authentic bitter leaf soup, ogiri. See, eh? If you don't add ogiri to your bitter leaf soup, you did not make ofe onubo. I don't know what you made because it is very important. At this point, your kitchen should be heavenly. Then you want to give this a good stir to combine 
and then adjust the seasoning to taste. Cover up and allow this come to a boil. At this point guys, the aroma in my kitchen was something else. Like you can literally have butterflies in your stomach and you can literally start setting the dining because food is almost ready. All you need to do at this point is just add in your washed bitter leaves. Now, I have a video up on my channel where I showed the simplest, easiest and fastest ways to wash your bitter leaves. So you may want to check it out. Just click the link up there. Anyways, let's get back to cooking. After adding in the bitter leaves, you need not do too much. Just stir to combine so that everything marries each other. Leave this to simmer for about 1-2 to two minutes guys. And serve with your favorite swallow. Let me know if you are going to be trying this Ophel Nubu recipe. And if you do try it, let me know how it comes out for you guys. Because it is yummy. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Follow me on Instagram because I post lots of content during the week. Bye, my loves.